Hi, I'm Martin, and welcome to Upgrade Your Day, the podcast. Uh, a long time ago, my dad said to me, habits create character, and character creates destiny. Ooh. And I love that one so much, because it is, it breaks it down. It's like, you know, those small little things that you do every day, they contribute to who you are. And every day when we wake up, we get to choose the sort of person we are every moment that we experience we get to choose the sort of adult we want to be and so it's like those habits build up and they create the character of who you are and the character of who you are creates your destiny and what your life is so so i am still here at the edinburgh fringe we're in our third week about to go into our fourth and final week of shows having an absolute hoot and what i will say before we talk about affirmations is if you've listened to episode 10 where i talk about self-compassion and how i talk about my anxiety at the 2019 fringe and how i discovered mindfulness and meditation to help me three years of having a mindfulness practice and training as a mindfulness teacher has pretty much eradicated my anxiety this year there's lots of other things with regards to the show we've been doing for a few years now and that makes it very different to 2019 however my approach to the day to the show to the nerves the anxiety is gone so i'm i'm pretty much overwhelmed by that it's been a bit of a shock to me i'm really enjoying what i'm doing and not worrying and catastrophizing everything and all the things I was doing in 2019 so if you haven't listened to episode 10 take a listen and the catch up on that is it's completely different this year me having a mindfulness practice so take from that what you will I'm sure I'll discuss it in some other podcasts um, in the future but yeah it's completely different and we're having a great time but it does bring me on to affirmations because I have noticed we're at the Gilded Balloon in the debating hall and I have noticed there is a real positivity this year within the crew um, the staff other acts it's very different maybe because there hasn't been a fringe for a couple of years and everyone sort of you know they want it to happen we want to get back to some sort of normality so I thought I'd go around and ask some of the lovely people that are working for the Gilded Balloon at the moment if they have affirmations and how they put that into their everyday life. Because I, I think, you know, negative thoughts can be so overwhelming, you know, and we know we're being a bit negative, but we just sort of plough on as we do with life. And it can affect, it can affect our health, it can affect our bodies. The mind, as we know, is a very powerful tool. And that whole negative thinking all the time, even if we try and change it, it can embed itself. So positive thoughts are very uplifting. And as I've said before, we can't all walk around being positive because then we'd just be absolutely crazy. You know, that that's not the reality of life. But what we can do is place the negative thoughts in, a, in, in its own little place to deal with. And I think affirmations uh, well, they are positive statements. They're something that we try and live by. Hence why people have a lot of sort of seize the day tattoos and so on and so on. It really does help. I think I think it helps overcome self-sabotage, which we do a lot. I also think the more that we have our own little affirmations, that we have a little list and we stick to them, I think they just become embedded within us. And it's such a great way to live your life, really. I think... I wanted to definitely have a tattoo on my wrist of something, something that I could look at. This was going back to 2019 again. Something I could look at and go, it's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Something that has all my all my goodness, all my years of gigs that have gone okay, um, things that I'm happy with in life, things that I'm grateful for, all in some little symbol that I could look at and go, it's fine. And actually... I still want to get that little tattoo. I really do. And it might happen. It might happen today. Who knows? But in a way, it's turned into the breath. It's turned into one breath for me. Um, and, and so who knows? I have no idea what a symbol could be. I think that's what stopped me from getting a tattoo. I just don't know what that is. If you have any ideas, mail me martin at upgradeyourday.co.uk. Let me know. But uh, I'm, yeah, I, I'm still yet to think about what that is. 
but I think affirmations are definitely a workout for the mind. In my book, The Companion, which you can get on my website, upgradeyourday.co.uk, the first page, I have my own little information, information? Well, it is information, actually, and an affirmation that says, a sunrise ramble in the early hours can bring you light, energy, and positivity for the day ahead, which physically a sunrise i think it is you know uh, light dark turning to light that energy is there i mean it happens to the mind to the body it's all there it's all there but also when you take yourself out walking like that and you have time to think to to go over the negative things turn them into positives or put them in a good place just have time to think through things which most of the time we're running around running around with so much to do so much to plan so much to think about it it really does give you that energy and positivity to move forward with your day it, it, it for me it's the most wonderful thing to see a sunrise and have some time to think and put everything in its place so that's my favorite little affirmation that's at the front of that book but i thought i'd find out what other people's are so we're going to have a little wander around a gilded balloon, a little vox pop, I think they used to call it back in the 80s. Do they still call it that? I don't know. But I'm going to head off with my microphone and see what other people have as their affirmations. So I am here with some lovely people from Gilded Balloon. We are talking, ready? Affirmations. Okay. Oh. Do we know about affirmations? Yeah. Yeah. We do. Do you have a favorite affirmation? Fake it till you make it. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, like when you have like confidence, right? And you don't like just automatically get it. But like when you fake confidence, you internalize it. So you then are just confident in general. Like you're like confident. Yeah. So you're kind of living it. And if you believe it yourself, it will kind of like internally, it builds into you, right? Exactly. I'm like, did you come up with that yourself? Did you read it? Did you learn it? Um, so I was like not confident. I was like, okay, fake it till you make it. Rihanna said, fake it till you make it. So I'm going to listen to it. And I was like, okay, I'm going to fake confidence. And I did. And someday I just like woke up and I was confident and I didn't have to fake it. So Rihanna, as in the pop singer, yeah. spoke to you. <laughs> not a meditation teacher, but Rihanna. Well, that's, you know what? That's what it's all about. I like that. Well done. What about you? Is there something that, or anything you'd like to share with people? Any sort of message that you'd like to kind of say, this is what I think you should do to be more positive in life or I was thinking in the nicest way possible nobody cares like if you saw someone if you're ever embarrassed about something if you saw someone else do it would you care no would you keep thinking about it either no no, no you wouldn't like it doesn't cares. affect anyone's day but if you get so embarrassed there's no point because no one's actually watching yeah. You can do your own thing. Yeah. Live your own life. Yeah, no one else actually cares. No, you're the only one that cares about it. You're in your own bubble and you're yeah. in your bubble. Yeah. So it's fine. Exactly. And we should just live on our own little bubbles. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> what about you? Is there something? Is there something that you feel is a, a message for other people or something that you live by? I just feel, especially in the last two years, I think everyone just needs to smile more. And smile, smile, smile. Like this job's all about smiling. And I just feel like if you're walking around with a smile on your face, you look approachable, you're going to meet more people, life's going to be better in general. Yeah. You just keep smiling. Positivity. Yes. I'm liking it. Oh, this is yeah. good, guys. Yeah. There's a lot of positivity around here. <laughs> yeah. But then again, you're dealing with the public coming into our show and in and out of shows. <laughs> so you need a lot of... <laughs> We need a lot of self-love. Yeah. You need a lot of self-love. Self Especially when we've been going up a little bit late sometimes and people are kicking off and all yeah. that malarkey. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I enjoyed that. So I am here now with the best stage manager in the business, Ali. She's been looking after us for the last three weeks. I'm laughing. She's laughing and I'm laughing because I didn't press record. <laughs> this is how amateur I am. <laughs> but listen, do you have a favourite affirmation? Yeah, so one that my dad used to say to me when I was a kid was that not all men are born equal. And it's just a reminder, pretty much, that I won't be the same as someone else, that I won't have the same opportunities, I won't have the same strengths, and that is okay. And I need to stop comparing my victories to someone else's because they might seem lesser in the big picture, but they're not necessarily because they might be big to me. 
I totally agree. And at this moment in time, we are now following one another on Instagram. Now we're working together and people do see other people. Don't they have nice holidays or nice food? And they think, why don't I eat like that? But what they're not seeing is that that person might have been eating baked beans on toast for a month to afford to have a nice meal. or what. You, don't, you just don't know other people's situation. So I think it's really important not to judge yourself on other people a bit like Edinburgh shows some have got more audiences than others some are funnier than others <laughs> isn't that true yeah no it's absolutely true and the funny thing is that you might have not a big audience one day and a really big audience the next day but then it might be the opposite for someone else exactly. so on that day you're going to compare yourself and think oh I have a tiny audience yes. but the reality is maybe the next day is that shows that you just compared yourself to won't have that big of an audience and it's also you know it's there are different shows so they will attract a different yeah. kind of audience do you have a word that you live by is there a word that I said to the others, like, if you had to tattoo it or something, or you had to, you know, I don't know, you wanted to write a word on a book, is there a word that you would live by, even at this moment in time? Surprisingly enough, I think just breathe. Because yeah. uh, a lot of the time, I think we get so, um, we get stuck a bit in a spiral and a vicious circle of having to work, having to desist, not taking the time for ourselves, and just taking a second, stopping, having a breath. Yeah. And that helps. Yeah. And we do need to hear. <laughs> Very much so, especially between the 30 minutes changeovers that are way too short. Yeah, the show before us is a Harry Potter. Um, what is it? Like a spontaneous, spontaneous Potter. Potter. It's so it's all improvised. And so they have to leave the stage and we have to set up and the audience have to be in within 30 minutes. And then after us, as a magician, it's got all his props to set up. It is full on. So actually the word breathe very important so i'm with another couple of stars of the gilded balloon <laughs> first of all i need to ask you is there an affirmation that you live by or something that's always on your mind that you really like for me personally i like to do one where live the life that you dream of so like even if you're not already where you want to be you've just got to already pretend you're living that life that you want that's what I try and live by. I pretend I'm in the house that I want to be in and the job I want to have. So, yeah, that's, that's for me personally, that's how I go. That's my favourite. Fake it till you make it. Yeah. Somebody else has said that. That's quite interesting because it embodies you and then you start believing in yourself and it's all good. Manifestation. More. Manifestation. Do you manifest anything? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You're not going to tell me, are you? Oh, no, it's all secrets. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about you? What, is there anything that springs to mind? Um, because it's raining outside, that quote that's like, life's not about waiting for the sun to come out, it's about learning to dance in the rain. I love that one. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very true. Yeah. And is there a word that if you had to have it, like, tattooed on you, is there a word that kind of is something that can carry you through a rubbish time or just add a bit of positivity is there a word that springs to mind breathe for me breathe hang on you're the second person that said it breathe yeah, nice just breathe tattooed on me already and I've got life will out and I know that's not one word but that's a few words but they are both things that I live by okay so hang on this one here let me just explain just it so breathe. you've got just breathe and it's a beautiful lotus flower and the colours are gorgeous like blues and reds and greens and the lotus flower I'm liking that one and this one says what life will out which means that no matter what happens in life it's going to continue no matter what rough patches you're going through like you're going to get through it life's going to find a way to continue you're going to be fine yeah I kind of I'm loving that message what about yourself um I really like the word excite that's excite yeah. yeah if I had to get a word tattooed on me it'd be the word excite I like it thank you I'm now with the other best stage manager of the Gilded Balloon, Belle. That's very kind of you, Martin. Is that just because we've still got a few shows to go? Still got a few shows to go, and I need to make sure my seat doesn't collapse on the stage. Yeah, oh, there's a few screws loose. What would you, would you look at that? I don't trust her. Um, so affirmations, is mm. there something that you love when you hear it or something that you have that you live your life by or the advice you give? It's interesting, actually. I just had a conversation. Sorry, this is a bit of a tangent. Uh, I just had a conversation with a friend about this a few weeks ago about whether manifestations and affirmations actually work. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I'm on the, of the belief that, you know, even if it doesn't work, you manifest your reality. 
So the more you tell yourself something, the more true it becomes. Yeah. Um, so I actually, probably a couple of times a week, I do a bit of yoga. And then at the end, I kind of get into the hippy-dippy mindset. And I say to myself, I manifest a life of uh, health, wealth, abundance, and joy. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's interesting because the other one that pops up for me time and time again is uh, a long time ago, my dad said to me, habits create character and character creates destiny. Ooh. And I love that one so much because it is, it breaks it down. It's like, you know, those small little things that you do every day, yeah. they contribute to who you are. And every day when we wake up, we get to choose the sort of person we are. Every moment yeah. that we experience, we get to choose the sort of adult we want to be. And so it's like those habits build up and they create the character of who you are. Yeah. And the character of who you are creates your destiny and what your life is. So yeah. I would say those are probably the two big ones. That is very good. <laughs> I feel safe with my chair now, knowing that you've gone that deep. Thank you. I'll make sure the only screws loose are in our brains. Yes, which they, yeah. (laughs) Thank you, honey. No worries, love. I'm now with um, my partner in crime, Mike. Is there something that you have as an affirmation that you feel sort of gets you through or you like to tell other people? Do you know, it's something that I've always done because I've been, I'm little. (laughs) <laughs> and to make up for that you know sometimes you can't always be the best at something mm-hmm. but what you can do is do your best and I think all the time if I'm trying to do something or be, I just try to do my best do the best you can do and that's all you can do that's all you can do and then nobody can judge you no. because actually you can say well I'm afraid if my best isn't good enough then what can you say? Yeah. And I say that to anybody. Yeah. If you've done your best, nobody can criticise you. Yeah. It's when people say to you, you could have done better. And if you can say, I couldn't actually. Yeah. That's as good as I can do. You know, I used to be a bit of a runner and, you know, I was quite a good runner. But I wasn't the best, but I was the best I could be. Mm. And I played a bit of piano. And, you know, I'm not a world-class pianist, but that's as good as I can do. And I really enjoy that. Exactly. You know? do your best. Yeah. So I think do the best, but there is something else that I I try to do, and um, I don't sit in lots of lots of people because we're in a really fast society. Just be nice to people, because I go, you don't quite know what's happened in their day. So when you see somebody who's having a really bad day and they might be being aggressive to somebody or something, you don't quite know what's happened yeah. behind the scenes. So I try to be as much as possible. I give people credit. I give them a bit of space and a bit of room to sometimes let themselves go. And you sometimes go where people are going. Oh, don't like him over there. Look at that yeah, yeah. kicking off. And you go, do you know what? He might have had a really bad day. Yeah. Because we all have bad days. And- be nice. Be kind. Do the best that you can do. Can't say fairer than that. And then nobody can criticise you. Exactly. There you go. I like Is that. Is that an affirmation? Thank you. <laughs> So I'm now talking to the number one sound designer in the UK. <laughs> he looks after us. Now, listen, affirmation. Have you got one? Uh, life doesn't get a tech rehearsal, so you just need to get on with it. Now, that's very good because you've brought in our industry as well with a tech rehearsal. You see, you're very clever. You see, these sound people are very clever. Doesn't have a dress rehearsal, so you've got to get on with it. Get on with life. Is that what you're going to do today? Uh, that's what I've been doing all month. <laughs> it's been a long month, hasn't it? I like that one. Well done. So the one my mum always says is that um, if it feels like the end, it's... Wait, I can't do it. Wait, stop, 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 stop. No, what does she fine. say? What does she say? This is a real podcast. A real There's podcast. There's no editing here. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> she says... Um, oh, what is it? Have a think about it. I'm going to come over oh, to you. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, just, my mind's gone back. This is why I don't go into showbiz. <laughs> you could do it. This is why I'm going to go into medicine. What about you? Okay, Izzy's one's actually, we think of the one my mum says, mm. which is don't worry about it before it's happened. Oh. oh. Such a good one. And do you know what? That is so important. Don't worry about it until that happens. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you know, I was actually looking the other day, you know, we've had a five star review yes. and a four star review. My mind goes straight to the, oh, are we going to get a one, a two, a three? And I've already started thinking about a negative that we might not have any other reviews. It might, that might be it. So why think about something that hasn't actually happened, right? Yeah, yeah. And you've got to enjoy the positive. And not think about the negatives. Like, yeah. just don't think about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But what happens if you do think about it? Is there a way that you kind of go, 
how do I how do you deal with the negative do you just put a positive spin on it or yeah I think sometimes you have to accept it like you just gotta embrace it and yeah. learn from it yes like, yeah learn from it's a huge thing actually mm. learn from it and then find the positives if you can be aware of it it's there yeah, and it's how you deal with it. it right yeah yeah don't just ignore it don't just keep going past it because it'll catch up with you at some point yeah but if you just own it learn from it move on fine I love that yeah what about you? I can't remember mine. <laughs> but she's struggling to remember her affirmation. Yeah. It's something like, if it feels like the end, it isn't. Um, and, yeah, I can't remember the rest. No, I know that. I, I've, I've heard that one as well. If it feels, yeah, if it feels like the end, is it that? isn't. <laughs> Maybe that you've just like created a worst, new one. That's the worst <laughs> affirmation I've ever heard. You've just created a new one. That's I fine. I have. I have. No, it's a really good one that my mum says all the time and I literally can't remember it now. But it has the same vibe to it. Yeah. I think if it feels like the end, it isn't. It's kind of like when you think something's over. over. It's not, you know, when it, one door closes, another one opens, that kind of vibe. There's That's your affirmation. So it's so true, though, because I think, like, your, your life, it feels like... But sometimes things, you know, feel like you can't go on any longer or you take a different path that you weren't expecting but then it leads you down, like, different roads and, yeah. And I think also, when one door closes, another one opens, it sounds so naff because we've heard it so much, but the reason we hear it so much is because it's true. Exactly, and I think also, I think it just depends, like, when you think that you have this life path and it doesn't go to plan, mm. that, yeah, I think that you get really stressed by it mm -hmm. but then I think that yeah life has a funny way of figuring itself out yeah. and, I think and go with it one. go with it go with the flow you know <laughs> oh she's got another one she's yeah. got two oh, now I've got, <laughs> no, got loads of just not, not the one that I originally wanted <laughs> oh it's really going to bug me now I can't remember oh I like okay, well. it we'll Google it'll be on Google it will we'll Google I'm it Google it it's going to really annoy me now oh my god thank you darling <laughs> so I'm back we've remembered Everything will be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, it's not the end. There it is. It is good. I told you. It was worth remembering for. I think it's John Lennon. John yeah. Lennon. We like, we've had Rihanna. Someone oh, created Rihanna. I mean, the two biggest, most important names. Let's be honest. Fake it till you make it. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, That's exactly. a good one. So we are quoting the legends. The legends. Oh, <laughs> Rihanna, John Lennon, you know, all the rest legends. Thanks, hon. <laughs> So I think it's safe to say that I am working here at the Edinburgh Fringe with the most lovely, lovely, interesting, deep and meaningful people. What a cracking bunch they are. I hope you enjoyed listening to a few of those and maybe some of them said things that you connected with or agreed with. And uh, yeah, maybe now you might have a little look, have a little Google at some affirmations and see if there's some that you might like to follow, might make a note of, or even just add some apps, some affirmation apps to your phone. Let it bleep away every day to give you something to have a little think about. We're going to finish this podcast with a little three-minute upgrade meditation. It's going to be a little affirmation meditation. So if you're driving or somewhere where you shouldn't really be doing a meditation with your eyes closed, then please don't do that. I should probably, you know, say that. That's the wise thing to say, but I'm sure you're very aware. We're going to start the meditation with a meditation bell and we're going to finish with the bell as well. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it and as always, if you want to send me a message you can write to martin m-a-r-t-i-n at upgradeyourday.co.uk please feel free to leave us some stars or some reviews it all helps and more importantly if you've enjoyed this please share post it on your facebook twitter whatsapp telegram <laughs> tiktok i don't know whatever social media you have please share upgrade your day podcast and let's just spread some love and positivity out there thank you for listening here is your little three minute upgrade so if you just want to take a moment to find somewhere to settle, just to rest for three minutes, you can be sitting down, lying down, even if you're walking, that's absolutely fine. It's completely up to you. And just take a moment to close your eyes or just rest your eyes right now.
And we're just going to start by placing all our attention on our breath, breathing in and breathing out. And just be aware of how that feels at this moment in time. Just breathing in your natural body's rhythm. And if you can just take a moment to make yourself just 10% more comfortable, still keeping all the attention on the breath, then just do that right now. And if you're aware of any tension in your body, if you're holding anything, just let it go, let it ease right now so you're in a completely relaxed state for this very short meditation. And then I invite you to take the biggest breath you've taken so far today, whatever that might be for you. Just take a big, deep breath, as deep as it can be for you, and just let that go. And place a hand over your heart. Just be aware of how that feels today. Be aware of how your hand moves with the breath. And if any other thoughts come into your mind, just let them go by like clouds in the sky. Be aware of them, but let them go. Just bring all your attention back to the breath. And maybe now place your other hand over the hand that's already over your heart. And just be aware of how that feels. And then you can say out loud or to yourself, may I be well. May I be safe. May I be grateful for the small things. May I offer myself self-compassion. May I be well. May I be safe. May I be grateful for the small things. May I offer myself self-compassion. And then with your hand closest to your heart, just maybe now turn it into a fist. Just curl it up with your other hand, capping it. And just say to yourself, I've got this. I've got this. And then just bring a gentle smile to your face. Just let it, just let it lift the corners of your mouth. Bring a smile to your face today. And then place your hands back down to where they were before. And just take a few more breaths now until you hear the meditation bell. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone.